In this video, I will demonstrate how to use Form Templates in OptimaJet Form Builder Library for React. In Form Builder, a template is essentially a form nested within another form. Now, I will show you how to easily create a form that contains templates. I will be using the official demonstration website. Let's get started. First, let's open the Form tab in Form Builder and add three form templates. The first form will include the form header. The second form will include the form content. The third form will include the form footer. So, let's create form templates for the header. Create form templates for the footer. And create form templates for the content. Let's start editing the form template that we will use as the header in other forms. And add a header to it form. Let's center align the header. Let's name the created header hello. Excellent, up to this point, everything has been quite straightforward. To ensure we can use elements from the parent form in the future, in this example, we need to add a slot element to the header. The slot element will be accessible in the editor mode. This key field belongs to the slot element. In the key field, specify the name header slot. Save the modifications to this form. Let's repeat the steps for the footer template. Create a footer component and label it as footer. Reduce the size and center align the header. Add slot. Update the slot name to footer slot. Good. Save the modifications. Next, we will modify the content form. Let's add an input field to the form. Add one more input field to the form, for example. Add button component into the form. Now, for clarity, let's change the appearance. Let's change the button's color, for example, to blue or violet. I like this color the most, let's keep it. Let's add name password for second input field. Add a key for this password field. We will use it as a data field. Let's label the initial field in the form as name. Next, we are adding a placeholder. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. It motivates us to create new informative videos. Save form template. Also, add two slots. Click the demo link below this video to try it out for yourself. We add slot for each field. Now, we need to save the form. Next, we add one more form. Let's name this form my form. This form will be nested within all the forms we created earlier. Now, let's edit form and add the header you can see in template list. Click to header. Something went wrong. Of course, I forgot save header. Don't forget to save the changes. Now, let's repeat and add the header one more time. Autosave feature will be added in the upcoming form builder releases. Save form. And now, we return to edit my form. And now we see a component header inside my form. This is header form key. Later, I will explain the purpose of this checkbox here. Next, I add a template from the content form to my form. The green icons indicate that we are using slots. In these slots, we can add components from the parent form. For example, I'm adding a progress bar component from parent form using slot. Next, I add a template footer form to my form. If you find this video helpful, 
please share as much as possible to create awareness. Save my form. For example, I'm adding static text using a slots feature. Right here some text for example. Save my form. To activate the form preview mode, click the preview button. Now I'm entering some text in the name field to demonstrate changes in the JSON. In preview mode, the left panel of OptimaJet Form Builder displays the form structure in JSON. You can always export and import forms in JSON. Now I will remove the image from the form, then save the changes in editor mode. As you can see, and green icon representing the slot, where you can add another element again, is displayed. Please note that the slot will not be displayed in preview mode. Previously, I promised to also explain the purpose of this checkbox. Now I'm unchecking the box store data in parent form. As you can see in the form builder's left panel, while I'm entering some text into the fields, the JSON data takes on a structured format associated with the template content key. Now, I've changed the key name. I'm switching to preview mode, and as you can see, the form data has nesting. If you need to store data in the parent form, you can use this form builder feature. Please write in the comments if there's anything you didn't understand. Thank you for watching this video to the end.